Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit about the variable aperture on the Osmo Action 6, which I'm filming on right now. Um, it's not what you might think, and it's not fully manually controllable, um, but there's a reason um, for that. It is to a degree, but it's not, um, it's not there to be adjusted in the same way you'd adjust your iris on a normal stills camera, for example. When the designers of the Osmo Action 6 were putting, putting it together, they wanted to put a larger sensor on the camera. The trouble is, is that when you put a large sensor, as I've mentioned in previous videos, onto an action camera, which is often in scenarios where you need a close focus distance, the larger sensor negates that. And the only way to get around it is to stop down. But if you stop down, it means that you're taking away the low light advantages of having a larger sensor in the first place. And that's where the variable aperture on the Osmo Action 6 comes in. It solves those problems. It varies between F4 and F2 for a reason. Um, F2 gives you um, a low light priority. So it's a full stop faster than most action cameras are normally by default. They're normally F2.8. The Osmo Action 6 can go a full stop faster than most other action cameras which gives it a very distinct advantage but if you want to prioritize close focus like for example now i'm holding this on a short selfie stick you can set it to a fixed aperture of f4 so that you can ensure you're getting that close focus and hopefully i am um, in focus but people who have used these cameras in the past will know that it can be a problem even on the cameras with a um, smaller sensor um, but certainly anyone who's used the 1R um, one inch mod from Insta360 Insta knows that close focus could be a problem with that camera in vlogging scenarios like this. You had to hold it quite a distance away from you uh, to get yourself in focus. So that's the reason why the Osmo Action 6 has a variable aperture on it. It's not to give you the ability to go super shallow depth of field and all that stuff. It's really to solve a design conundrum which results from the laws of physics. Um, and so far it's working um, pretty well. Um, and it's, I think it is actually a, a very useful thing to have. It has a purpose, it's not a gimmick. Um, it does actually serve a very practical purpose. But anyway, I just wanted to give you my initial thoughts on that. My normal review video will be coming soon for this camera where I do my usual shenanigans out on the water and wherever um, I've taken it. Um, I have to say, so far, I'm pretty impressed by this camera. Um, there are a couple of things that, that, that uh, I don't like, um, but I'll get into that in my review video. Um, but certainly... Um, the low light performance on this is looking very good and that variable aperture plays a part in that. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to give my thoughts on that. It's a bit of a rambly video this, but um, yeah, I'll catch you in the review video. And if you've got any questions about this camera, just pop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I might do a video where I um, go through some of your questions. Um, but yeah, um, see you a bit later. Thank you.